What's going on guys? So this is day 36 video and I'm shooting this uh, because it's Monday day 37, but day 36 was yesterday. And I wanted to post this to cover two things that I think you'll find helpful. So the first was that I wanted to make sure that I'm still being consistent with posts. So this is day 36's video, which was uh, Sunday. And it just happened that I didn't squat, didn't really do anything fitnessy. Um, but I wanted to post anyways, and I want to take this opportunity to maybe talk about something that people struggle with or the idea behind uh, rest days and how to take them and what should you do and give you my two cents on uh, kind of how I determine if it's rest day or not. So uh, I understand the squat every day. The idea is to squat every day. Um, however, I do think that sometimes rest days, and this is more realistic for most people, are important. Now, I don't think a lot of people who are training two, three, four days a week need like necessarily rest days. I think, you know, but if you're somebody who's training hard, you know, four or five or maybe six days a week, a rest day might actually be warranted. That said, what fits for rest day? So personally for me, I spent yesterday, I got up, uh, let's see what I did. I got up, I hung out with, uh, we're watching my brother's dog. So we hung out with them, did some work in the morning and then we went to a dog park. Uh, well, my little guy Milo uh, learned to swim, which you can watch that clip here. And then we ended up coming home. It was really relaxing. Uh, split a beer or two with my wife. Uh, we were planning a trip. So we kind of went down through that. And then I cut the front, uh, front lawn, back lawn, did some outdoor work. So that was my day. And it wasn't necessarily me sitting around. Uh, but I definitely didn't plan to do anything. And it was definitely, it served its purpose in my training. Because I think a lot of people, when they think about a rest day, either they take the full day off, and that's great. You know, still try and stay moving, just activities, daily life, try and decrease the stress, whatever that would be. Now, there are things called like active recovery where people will do like rest days. You know, maybe they, they go to the gym and they do light weights or they ride the bike, this and that. And I do think that's a fine line. So for me, if I'm going to walk into the gym, I'm going to have a training day or at least I'm going to have like a light bodybuilding day, uh, you know, maybe some stretching here and there. But that's kind of where my mindset's at. And when I'm resting, I'm resting. I think that's a big thing when we talk about like stress levels, cortisol levels, and just the motivation and will and uh, behind the one to train the whole time. So like something I squat every day, like, like last week, I definitely had some moments where I didn't want to train. And I think it's important to still get to the gym, but also in your program, make sure that you're taking rest. And, and you know, I think most people could at least benefit from having you know one day off a week but um it really depends on your programs going so there's really no optimal mix you know i've trained 14 days in a row this and that and i think the older that i get i realize that uh i have to work around life sometimes but sometimes i don't have to work around life and i can just uh be okay with living to see another day in the gym i'll get at it tomorrow and that's what i really i wanted to stress here with people is if you're training a couple days a week I challenge you to get out there and train a little more. But if you start to find yourself uh, training when you don't want to train and you're actually becoming, you know, and your performance is dropping, you're getting kind of angry and upset about it, maybe take a rest day or maybe just do like a outdoor things or do something a little lighter. I think if you're spending all your time in the gym, which obviously is needed at times, um, depending on your goal, but be okay to just take a day off don't hit the gym as hard, but just be physically active. And, and to follow up on that, I'm in the middle of a cut. So my big overarching plan is obviously to, to continue to squat every day, but to really loosen body fat. And I think a lot of people really, really slip up when they think they have to go to the gym because that's how they're going to stay active and they're going to be fit and all that, which there is truth to that, especially if you want to be, you know, high level. 
But if you're trying to lose body fat and you can only get to the gym three, four days a week, well, the other three or four days a week, you're not working out. You can still get your steps in. You can still be physically active in daily life, but you 100% need to focus on diet. And that's the biggest thing that I see. A lot of people when they take rest days, they just eat like shit. And, you know, that's just the double-edged sword. Or I see people who go to the gym and then they think they can still eat like shit and they don't lose the results. So no matter what you're doing in the gym, make sure you're mimicking it outside. And if you don't go to the gym, you can still attack your fitness goals of recovery, body fat, composition loss, uh, muscle gain, all that comes from diet. So I know I'm around with here, guys, but if you're going to take a rest day, be okay with it. Live to see another day. It's going to help you out in the long run. Uh, if you're really trying to get strong in this and that rest days, help us. If you aren't training a lot, maybe try and increase your, your training. It's kind of, you know, one end of the spectrum. But regardless, make sure you're eating properly. You know, if you take a rest day and then eat like crap, you're going to feel like crap day uh, walking into the gym. Um, and obviously there's outliers on any of this, but, you know, post your comments below if you have questions. I know this was really just my take on it. It wasn't really any clear definitive answers because there's not a right answer to this. Um, and there's not wrong answers. I mean, there's just different answers. So let me know what your questions you have, guys. But this is day 36's video. So looking forward to it, guys. Later.